Hello viewers, I'm SB and this is Titanfall 2. So I've been playing a lot of Apex Legends lately, and Apex Legends is a game that is set in the Titanfall universe. And it has uh, basically reminded me that the Titanfall universe exists. See, when Titanfall 2 came out, a lot of people whose opinions I trust and respect on games were telling me that the Titanfall 2 campaign is just spectacular. Like, top 5 shooter campaigns of all time, really excellent stuff. And I intended to play it, and then I forgot, because I do that, slipped my mind, never got around to it. But I have been reminded. So, uh, I thought I could share this experience with all of you out there. Maybe this is going to be really, really cool. I don't really know a lot about Titanfall, except for like the background world building stuff that I picked up from Apex Legends, and the fact that you get to pilot giant mech suits. And really, that's, that's all I need to know. You tell me that I can be in a mech in a game, I am there. So, uh, let's hit this. I just uh, jumped in here very briefly to check the audio levels, which hopefully will be okay. Let me know if they're not. And let's do this. Of all the things I've seen on the battlefields of the frontier, the pilot is the true dominant force. Fast and agile. Graceful, yet devastating. Perceptive. Resourceful. And relentless. A pilot sees the world differently. Sheer walls become flanking routes. Pilots fight differently. Experienced in deception and maneuver, even overwhelming odds shift in their favor. But what wow. truly separates the pilot from all the grunts and machines of the battlefield is the bond between a pilot and a titan. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. to a titan, a pilot can only be stopped by overwhelming force, or an equal. <laughs> okay, alright. We're in the right place. The only home I've ever known. For years, our lands have been destroyed by the IMC, forcefully taking our resources, polluting and destroying our planets, and killing us off if we try to resist. Despite recent victories at Demeter and beyond, we have a long way to go before the IMC is defeated. Now, I serve as a rifleman in the militia, fighting to free the frontier. I'm a long way from becoming a pilot. But when that day comes, I hope I can live up to the honor. Yeah, alright, I, I get the appeal. I see what's up. The 9th Militia Fleet is en route to attack an IMC-controlled planet called Typhon. Zero civilian presence. I only know that it houses an IMC military research facility. Aboard the James McAllen, my pilot training continues with Captain Lastimosa, a master-level pilot. I'm not sure why he chose to be my mentor, but this is an opportunity I'd be crazy to pass up. Yes, you would have to be crazy to pass up the opportunity to drive the giant robot. Here we go, Rifleman Cooper. Oh, hell. Ship must have power cycled the Simpod since last time. We'll have to recalibrate it. Oh no, that sounds terrible. Okay, where's the other... Oh, there we go. Right to you, Cooper. oh that's nice. Yeah, All right. I'm, I'm cool We're with them as they are. Let's see how much you remember from last time. Setting the neural link. Not quite the same as a Titan link, but it's similar. Okay, so like we're, 
we're right on the cusp of being allowed to drive the robot. Ah, March oh. Technically, right, the I'm not Matrix. supposed to be training you, but in you I see potential. Besides, we're at war. Who's got time for classes, eh? Alright, but I should probably be, like, licensed to run the robot, right? I get what he's saying, but it's worthwhile to take the classes. Oh, Crouch is a toggle. That's not going to work for me. Okay, hold on. I hear what you're saying about enhanced mobility and everything, but we gotta, we got to fix some problems here. Sprint manual? Always sprint when you move forward? No, I'm, I'm good on manual. Where, uh, where's the toggle for this thing? Crouch button. Hold to crouch. Aim button, hold to aim down sights. Okay, yes. I'm sick in nature. Wait, it's not. That is definitely functioning as a toggle. Hold on a second. Sorry. That's weird. Oh, maybe if I set it to toggle, it will work the way I want it to? Nope, that's also definitely a toggle. Are all of the options actually toggle? Sure seems like it. Okay, maybe it's maybe it's just a tutorial issue, and it'll be fine once we're in the real game. Well, this is pretty cool. I mean, a lot of this water seems to be flowing in the wrong direction. I think your simulation might be broken. Beautiful, isn't it? Inspired by my home planet of harmony, this is where I grew up. This is what and this kind of like for. islands hanging in the sky, floating bits of rock everywhere is absolutely default video game speak for this place is otherworldly. But, you know, it, it's cool. It still works on me. I'm not jaded yet. I'm not jaded about this yet, is what I should say. Let's make sure your jump kit is primed. Basic wall okay. here. Give it a try. Yeah, easy. Good. Now you're moving. Hold on. I want to I play with this a little bit more. Do I actually have to hold W? Oh, I do actually have to hold forward the whole time. Okay. Wait, just run at the wall. Okay, we have kind of a scramble up if you're not angled enough. And can I side strafe into the wall and get the Yes I can. Okay, cool. Under here. Stay low. Give like a little slide. Simple double jump. Follow the ghost. Hmm. We've retaken over a quarter. Actually Crouch has space. gone back to being a toggle now as well. Maybe, Maybe I just can't change the now. options during the tutorial. We'll join every day to play the IMC. People like you. We used to just run and hide from them. But now Chase them. Okay. Yeah, so we have a lot of movement options here. That's part of what I like about Apex a lot is the way the movement feels, and it seems to be pretty much directly taken from this. These are just a few of the weapons I've come across out there. Just a couple, you know. Time to hit the range. This is my very modest collection of guns. All right. Well, uh, do I know these guns? Are these are these Apex guns? They totally are. I love a Spitfire. Uh, where is here? We are. Well, this is an R two O one. Then where I where I come from, we're used to three O ones. But I guess this will have to do. You know, I get it. You guys don't have the fancy stuff. I don't have any. Oh, there we go. To get more precision, aim down the sides of your. Yeah, pretty standard. There's not a lot of, like, laser guns. Uh, there are some laser guns, but the weapons in the game are, are pretty much just, like, near future military. Except for the couple of laser guns, I guess. I think I get the idea. Yeah, wow. I don't know how people play with a toggle for aiming down the sights. I guess it's a, more of a controller thing. It would be kind of a pain to... I think, I think usually on controllers, aim down sights, it's like R3, and it would be a pain to hold the stick down while you're aiming. That's pretty cool. Is two minutes. Gotta do better than that to continue. Follow two the minutes, ghost, huh? or find your own path. Okay. We can do this. So wanna use enhanced combat. mobility, right? Speed is paramount, but you must also hit your targets. The gauntlet is yeah, where sweet. we practice those skills until their second need. Be a little bit easier to do if I didn't have to toggle my aim. Well, that's not very good shooting. Got him. It's all pretty standard first-person shooter stuff, except for the wall running, which I am actually extremely into. 
Oh, also, I'm just like getting grenades like crazy here. Let me actually. Okay, so that didn't work at all. Hold on a second. So when I go to throw a grenade, okay, I can get like a little projectile trajectory readout. It's like my double jump resets every time I touch a wall, which is pretty cool. Wow, I am a horrible shot, apparently. But hey, it is a lot like Apex Legends. Oh, I've fallen into the thing. Well, fortunately, the two-minute part time apparently is extremely easy, because I definitely just, like, stopped moving nice several run. times there. See the results board on the wall? You set a new best time. Everyone has different strengths and weaknesses, so be sure to run this a few times with different weapons. Look at the results board for more tips on how to improve. Okay, now well... Warmed up, if you want a real challenge, you can race against other pilot ghosts. Word of warning, though. Pilots who recorded these ghosts are the best in the SRS. If you can beat them, you'll be on your way to being a real pilot. Go ahead and run the gauntlet. As I mean, much as you want. that doesn't it's speak done. super well of the quality of the SRS because if I'm the if I'm the eighth best pilot already without having like actually ever been a pilot, I'm sure he's just uh, you know it's just loose talk. He's not. He doesn't actually mean it. All right. Well, let's. Uh, oh, there's an Ava eight. Well, I should have been using this from the beginning. All right, let's give it one more run. I can do better than this. I can do better than this if I don't, you know, stop and play with the grenades and stuff. I like the way the wall run clings around corners like that. The Ava 8 is an automatic shotgun. It's, it's, I mean, it's automatic, but it's still a pretty slow rate of fire. Okay, so I can reload while sprinting, but I cannot shoot while sprinting. Oh, look at that. Game's a lot easier when you don't actually have to aim. Again, pretty much the same as Apex Legends in that way. Oh, reloading. Throw a grenade. That might get that guy. That's even exactly the same grenade indicator. Okay, I can tell that I am going to have some comfort here. <laughs> Can't wait to tell Anderson about that. That son of a bitch. Yeah, take that, Anderson. You suck and we hate you. All right. Hold on a second. Difficulty set to hard, based on gauntlet performance. Apparently the line between normal and hard is, like, really, really easy. All done with the gauntlet? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. We can... Uh, yes. I'm ready to, I'm ready see, to see what's, what's next. next. Oh. Good. I'd have to read, to read those. He's gonna read them. It's time you learn the other half of being a pilot. The Titan. Let's go call one in. Okay. I am, in fact, I'm very excited. It's about time. I'm ready. That's the spirit. But first, we're gonna need a little more space. I feel like you could have done that in a way that was less disorienting. He's a Vanguard class. Homegrown militia technology. First Titan chassis we designed ourselves. One we didn't have to steal from the IMC. Go ahead, Rifleman. Go on your first Titan. Okay. V. V is the Make Robot button. It stands for I would very much like a robot now, please. Oh, oh that's not working. Oh, that's that's very cruel. Easy call. He just left VR. He needs a minute to decompress. He'll be ready to go. Trust me. Yes, sir. It's up. They're killing us. I'm trying to, anyway. Good session in there. You'll get the hang of it someday. We'll make a pilot out of you yet, Rifleman. But not today. No time. Last of Mosa. Anderson. You son of a bitch. See you down there. We're gonna see a new planet today. Maybe even die on it. Exciting. That's really so cool. It's super rifle, cool that the uh, the suits are active when the pilots aren't in them. Get your ass out of the sim pod, Cooper. Meet at the dropship. I would love to. I have no control of my legs, though. You know, VR sickness. It happens to everybody. Okay. Uh, you're very experienced with shooters. You like an immersive story and a tough challenge to go with it. Okay. That yeah, that sounds like me. I am definitely not a Titanfall expert. Sure. Let's do hard. I would prefer that the game is hard enough that we screw up and die a bunch at the beginning, and then, you know, we slowly get okay at it.
fingers crossed that once we load into the first actual level here, I'll actually be able to change the, uh, <laughs> the crouch and aim down sight controls. Like, especially with the crouch controls, it being a toggle means that it's actually, you don't come out of the slide naturally, you have to hit another button to stop sliding. And the slide slows down tremendously if you keep sliding for too long. Oh, I think they're going to hit us with that late title card at some point during this. There it is. Okay, that's cool. That's stylish. Alright, well I feel like every first person shooter campaign starts this way, right? Sometimes things don't go horribly, horribly wrong until the second mission, I guess. Well that doesn't seem like a problem, I'll only be handling a gun. Chaotic sounds of battle. Good subtitles. Okay. Ooh. Flyline. Alright. It's nice to already know what most of the guns do. Okay, so this is still not working the way I want it to work. Toggle. Toggle. This time they at least both said the things they actually are, so I'm, I'm hopeful. Nope. Does this re is this really not changeable? It says toggle. Okay, hold on. We're gonna- I'm gonna restore all the defaults. And then we're going to hit that, and there's no accept button anywhere. Oh, because I'm looking... These are the controller controls. Well... Okay, but <laughs> there aren't actually options for that over here. Okay, here's how we got to fix it. I just have to bind a different... Uh, edit key, left control. Listen, I know that it's, in some ways, the thing that just happened is very embarrassing, but... It's a first-person shooter campaign. How much reading am I going to have to do? It's probably not going to be an issue. Uh, apply. Yes, apply all of the changes. So there we go. I fixed it. Also, it's loud here. Nobody told me war was going to be loud. These are these are good guys. Who are we shooting at? Oh, those guys. That seems bad. There's a lot of them. Excuse me. I want to be in the cover. Also, the fire is an actual fire. Don't stand in that. We fighting. We're fighting explosive robots. That's a grenade indicator. We should probably not just sit here. I will say, I feel like the uh, the flatline is a little bit more accurate than this, the one I'm used to. Well, let's execute a flanking maneuver and get nice and close, so it doesn't matter how bad my aim is. Okay, pretty tough enemies, but the headshots take them down real fast. You know, like in a shooter. This is Captain Lastimosa. I got a seat from your location. On my way. Oh, Jesus. Titan landed right on top of me. So, like, if you're... Oh, jeez. If you're a guy on the ground, what are you supposed to do in a situation like this? I just get saved by somebody else. Fair enough. I can do that. Cooper, you're in bad shape. Hold on. Spine yeah, a robot you jumped on okay me. When you wake up. Lastimosa, hostile titans inbound. Apex predators. Copy that, BT. Mercenaries. Stay down, Cooper. 
Yeah, that's pretty neat. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, here's hoping we wake up. Okay, just don't move. Nobody move or make noise. It's one thing. It's one kind of screwed up to just cut a dude's ear off. It's another thing entirely to spit on it afterward. Very disrespectful. Oi, Richter! Leave the corpses alone, you sick bastard. We've got a job to do, eh? We make corpses, we don't clean them up. Let's go! You gotta pay extra if you want the robot guys who are also janitors. Hey, good news, I'm not actually dead yet. Uh, but that's a dinosaur. Ooh. Yeah, scramble, scramble, this would be a good time for scrambling. Maybe another robot could show up? Oh, or the same one. Yeah, that works. I guess he's still okay in there? And maybe okay is a little bit strong, but alive anyway. Uh, is there maybe like a, a rumble seat that can join you or something in there? Oh, Jesus. BT, transfer authorization to new pilot, Link. Bra <coughs> Bravo Tango 7274. Trooper, take my Titan. Use my helmet in my jump kit. This is the real thing. Take care of him. Boy, stuff. I never thought I would be so unhappy to gain control of a giant robot. Alright, well, I feel like we have at least some chance of making it out of here alive now. A little uncomfortable with this helmet, just knowing my name. Okay, we have a personal cloak. I can still throw grenades and shoot guns. And also... Also this now. Oh, except he's broken. Right, well, I mean, we did see his entire back get torn out. Oh. More dinosaurs. Hostile dinosaurs. Okay. Get out of here. Well, you know, if you want you want a uh, cool giant robot suit, you gotta earn it yourself. Also, extra gun. Oh, is this one of those games where you only get to have one gun? One of those, you know, semi-realistic shooters? Okay, V, start Ghost Run. Oh, it's a, I just have a module in here that can, like, guide me through the terrain? Ghost thinks we ought to go that way. It knows I went through the tutorial to get here, doesn't it? Oh, wait. Gun. Yeah, I would like this a lot better, actually. But we're gonna get a lot of, like, generic machine startup text for a while here. 
Okay, well, the movement feels good. A lot of hostile wildlife on this alien planet. And they said there wouldn't be any civilians. Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe we should keep moving. What is this? Oh, collectibles. Right, it's a video game. Sure, that makes sense. All that, all that noise is just the radio in the pod. Okay, people are going to a reclamation facility. That might be important for later. Battery is that away. Oh, double jump offline. Well, I'm glad I knew that uh, then and not, like, when I needed it to survive. I did try to double jump on that, by the way. Could but very easily have gotten me killed. General Marder of the Interstellar Manufacturing Corporation. You're in violation of sovereign law. I'm offering you a free amnesty. Surrender yourself to the IMC forces. We work for whoever the IMC say we work What are you trying to do? Oh, there's definitely people up there. I don't care who's giving you orders. Blisk and his mercs, General Marder. Us drugs get paid the same either way. All that matters. Okay, so it's like the the helmet and the jump kit are getting used to the way we move around. Stuff. I mean, I guess we should try to stealth up on this guy because it wants me to perform a melee attack. This seems like I'm gonna get caught. Doesn't it feel like we're gonna get caught here? <laughs> we uh really throw hands, huh? Is that is that a flat? Oh, that's a hemlock. I don't much care for the hemlock. I like this gun. You supposed to drop down here? Is this not where we? No, this is not where we were. I was gonna say, hey, isn't he looking right at me? Oh right, the cloak. Okay, so it's not perfect. I do like uh, a style of shooter where you can just like be moving around really aggressively and punching people. A little bit like the uh, the modern machine game style, you know. They seem a little. Oh, never mind. I was, I'm stuck. <laughs> yeah, I can't jump here for some reason. Look. Yep, I'm gonna punch people absolutely every time I have the opportunity to. That's a very, very good punch. I'm slightly outnumbered here. So one thing that we know about the, uh, the corporation is that the dudes they hire to do all the shooting are woefully incompetent. Oh wait, I just realized I was about to go do a fancy thing. Okay, no, I still don't have double jump. Oh hey, I think I see a zip line up there. Let's go this way. Nope. Shoot. Well, the downside of the areas not being like obvious linear hallways is that stupid people like me can fall off of them very easily. So it seems like right now we don't really have any ammo concerns. Each one of these dudes is carrying like a lot of bullets. Can I grab this? Yeah, here we go. But presumably it will be possible to have ammo concerns at some point or there wouldn't be limited amounts of ammo in the first place. So basically at some point I'm gonna have to learn how to actually shoot. Uh, longbow, no I'm cool with this gun. I think it's safe to... stupid giant plants. Think it's safe to drop down here? Oh, our jump kit, like... Oh! Dude, directly behind me with a big shotgun. Hey, 
Maybe I should. Maybe we should make a switch here. This gun is not optimally used at a range like this. i try to get a little closer to these things. Still do have to actually hit him, though. Gun's not going to do all the work. I may not have the optimal weaponry for this combat range. I have a pistol. Maybe a, maybe the pistol is worth using. Let's... Oh. This is going to help the dinosaur a little bit. I believe in you, you horrible hell beast. You can do it. So I'm... Yeah. I'm doing a bad job. But yeah, you want to come over here? Please, please come over here, because I'm not sure I'll be able to kill you any other way. Oh, turns out we got him. I will say, like, with the with the suit coming back online slowly... Probably ought to switch guns here. With the suit coming back online slowly and us getting, um... Getting text reminding us how all of the abilities work and stuff, it does feel like they're tutorializing us again right after the real tutorial. You know, all you really have to do is put the red dot on them and then pull the trigger. I don't know why that's got to be so difficult. A specter. Oh, that's the, the robot guys are specters. Okay, I'm going to hack these specters. No, I'm not. I'm going to get shot a lot by all the enemies. So, like I was saying, it feels a little bit like a second tutorial area, and then I died in it. Stop. <laughs> That's fun every single time, though. Alright, you know, you gotta get a sense for how many times you can afford to be shot in the face. It is a remarkably large number in this case. They're, they're pretty forgiving, even on hard. I accidentally crawled up on a rock. Shoot the hostile wildlife instead of the hostile guys. I do like the helmet flying off as an indicator for you getting a headshot. Okay, take our fancy long-range gun here, and we're going to do a good job with it. Couldn't be simpler. Just put the, put the red dot on the enemy and pull the trigger. It seems like it doesn't even actually have to be a headshot. A little bit of, and a little bit of aim waver when moving, though. They stay still while firing this. Also, uh, bullets are not hit scan. Let's just take cover for a second here. Let these guys distract the enemy. So I want to get close enough to something to hack it. I mean, obviously, that's what we're supposed to be doing here. But also, they are trying to kill me with guns. Oh! Yo, I'm on Team Dinosaur here. I mean, I can see why you might not think that, given all the shooting I'm doing. Hey, hey. Yeah, take that, buddy. Oh, holy the hack. Okay, now I have a uh, friendly robot man. That's cool. With that head, he reminds me of... Reminds me of a robot from something, but I can't quite place what it is. Is he, is he going to follow me, or no, he just sort of, sort of patrols around the area that I hacked him in? Okay. Good enough, I suppose. Titan battery is up there. Well, it looks like we can probably catch on this ledge here. Yeah, easy. To any militia personnel, I must remind you that you are on the planet Titan. This is an IMC. All right, you don't have to tie. I can figure it out. Yeah, see, easy. Uh. Yeah, I should probably switch back to an automatic. Given how good I am at shooting, the extra bullets are very helpful.
The chained wall runs are real fun. This feels, uh, this feels good. Oh dear. Okay, well, let's try to make this quick then. Boy, which way do you think you're supposed to go? Because we should definitely try to go the other way, because collectibles. Now that I know there are collectibles on the missions. Okay, well, probably this is the way forward, given that the Titan battery is right there, so let's have a little bit of a look around. Yeah, now that we know there's collectibles, unfortunately, my, uh. My video game brain poisoning is kicking in, and I'm gonna have to look everywhere all the time. This also might be just the place that we're supposed to go after getting the battery. Yeah, all right, all right. I get we're getting the uh, we're getting the rapid up signal from the game here. All right, let's get on. Let's get a move on here. Okay, so I'm just going to carry this around in the open while they're shooting at me? Doesn't seem like a great idea. You wanted to make a difference. I guess the solution is to not get shot at. Uh... Am I just going back out the way I came in? I don't really know anything about the IMC, like how bad of a group of bad guys they are. So there might be some moral ambiguity stuff going on here that I'm just missing. I think that's what that uh, that audio was hinting at. Okay. Low. Insufficient power. I like the way that the enemies respond. Like the, when we shot that first guy, the other guys around power him low. were shocked. They didn't just immediately know where power. we were and start shooting. All right, man, I got you. Where did the batteries go? How do you how do you battery power a Titan? Low. Insufficient power. Uh, that looks like it might be a power socket up there. No, I think that's just like a jet power or something. Low. How do I? Oh, power. wait, here we go. Saw a prompt briefly there. Where, where was I looking? Insufficient power. I, could you maybe, like, pop up the user's manual or something for me? This, <laughs> this bodes very well for my Titan future. Power. We got a prompt very briefly when I was looking, like, around here somewhere. Just, like, plug it into low. his face. Insufficient power. I do wish that I wasn't getting prompts from the guns, making it hard for me to look around. Power low. Yeah, it's insufficient power. Ah, aha! Oh, I see. Okay. Look at that. We're learning things already. Power at two thirds. Data core reinitialized. Ocular system oh. online. Maybe I should back up a little Adjusting bit. I'll just focus. I'll I'll be over here while you do that. Pilot. Yes. Yeah. How are Who are you? I am BT-7274, a Vanguard-class Titan of the Militia SRS, Marauder Corps. You may call me BT. BT. Got it. My systems are rebooting, but a third battery will accelerate the process. I will remain here. That's very brave of you. Okay, a lot of shattered batteries in the area. Really? We're gonna... Okay. Until I am mobile, I will assist you through your helmet radio when possible. Okay, I hope your wisecracking system has come online already. Yeah, I guess we're going this way. Huh. Can I really make that? Alright, Ghost Runner seems to think so. Yes, just barely. Pilot, I advise against turning yourself over to the IMC. Voice pattern analysis Thank you. indicates they are lying. 
All right, he's definitely useful. Hey, don't worry, BT. I'm not going anywhere. Understood, but I do recommend you move. IMC salvage teams are not far away. I'm not gonna make that. Well, maybe. I mean, I'm not leaving you. It is a common requirement for pilots to maneuver in situations without a linked Titan. Okay, painfully literal. Got it. Okay, I'm starting to get a hang of the hang of how long the uh, air jump is. So if we run kind of up the wall. And then we double jump. Okay, I got it, I got it. I know what to do. We be careful to hit this at an angle such that we don't just try to climb up it. Slide when we hit the ground, just for extra style points. Surprise! Oh. I am also surprised. It's kind of crazy how many bullets it takes to kill these guys when a single punch puts them down permanently. The ambush of the 9th Militia Fleet has landed us far off course from our original destination. We are located in hostile territory. Be careful, we cannot stay here long. Alright, I figure we ought to try the guns at least, all the guns at least once. Uh, maybe we shouldn't ask him this, but... survive through this, BT? We have no other options. We will have to improvise and adapt if we wish to survive. How long did you serve with Lastimosa? Captain Lastimosa linked with me 973 days ago. Sorry. You guys must have been close. He was an excellent pilot. And a good friend. We know there are militia survivors. They have, like, actual personality and stuff. I wonder what this... That, the state of AI is in this universe. Ooh, okay. Everything's fine. I didn't panic during that jump at all. Okay, well, we're sort of getting there. You know what? Hold on. I'm just going to walk up to this guy normally. Okay, so they, they don't detect you until you're very close. Uh, if they're offering me this, I might actually need it, and actually, we can see some dudes right here. That guy alone? He is not alone. That dude just gonna live back there, or is he coming? Here we go. Surprise! I probably should have waited until the other dude was visible before doing that. Is that a hostile? Yeah, it's a hostile something. Hostile, bulletproof, something. Oh, I think I just got shot. Alright, probably we should keep moving. They definitely know where I am now. Hold on, can I switch back to my other gun? Real quick. All this long-range fighting is not really my thing. Ow. Oh, hi. Apparently close-range fighting, also kind of not my thing. So yeah, this is why I don't really like this gun. The, the the burst fire is not really my uh really my bag. Can we get something a little bit more? What is that? An SMR. Rapidly fires micro missiles. Your suit has an emergency cloaking ability. This can help you survive dangerous situations. Okay, that's very cool. I think we found a new favorite gun. Doesn't have a ton of ammo. And there is a little bit more travel time on these projectiles. Oh, wow, Jesus. Probably better against like, drones and turrets and stuff due to being explosive. Oh, hey, how, how you doing? Right, we're just going to stay under here for a moment until I've recovered. Okay, I think we've mostly cleared it out, except for that guy up there near the turret. What is in here? Anything fun? A bunch of, like, really large bullets. Look at the size of those. Oh. Hey, man. Okay, so they don't explode lo uh, in a large enough area for me to kill a guy by shooting, like, near where we know his feet are. Did that work? That did not work. Those things are just really hard to kill. Okay, never mind. 
Wish I'd taken the AV8 now. Uh, Spitfire? Oh! Okay, an anti-Titan weapon. Well, out of curiosity, will this kill that turret, or am I just, like, not even doing the right thing? Oh, we got a lock on. Wow, really? The thing seems like it's maybe just not killable. Ow. Okay. The Spitfire is a, uh, a big, ridiculous LMG. Maybe this will do the job. Also, this is not even where I'm supposed to be going. Hold on. Let's... Let's use arc grenades. So these things are like EMP uh, weapons. Oh, those are specters up there. Okay, so they will get back up. We're getting stuff, we're learning. Hard to tell a dif uh, the difference between the uh, robot troops and the biological troops at a distance. I'm just, I'm just doing a terrible job here. That's why I like the Spitfire, though. You get to fire so many shots that you can do a bad job and you have time to fix it. A little too inaccurate, though, maybe. BT, who is this voice? This is the commander of the Marauder Corps, a section of the Militia's Special Recon Squadron, or SRS. Her name is Sarah okay, Briggs. So that's us. Shoulder shoulder, so that BT, is there anyone alive on this ship? No. Scans do not detect any life signs within the MCS James McAllen, but 90% of the lifeboats have been ejected. There is still hope. He said no life signs, but I still want to be careful in here because we know there's an awful lot of enemy robots around. Ooh. Well, that's unsafe. Are we... Oh, I see. Uh... Maybe we can wall run inside the vent real quick here. <laughs> nope. Yeah, this is making me a little nervous. I thought I saw movement, but it was just the distortion caused by the fire. I wonder how volatile these things are. Okay, seems like we maybe ought to get back quickly. Ah, uh, that doesn't look like the way we want to go. I really just want to. Would be in your best interest to turn yourselves in. Surely you would agree it is better for our infantry to fight you first. Pilot, our location has been compromised. I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. Oh. Ideally, we want to keep one of these specters alive. Preferably not one of the ones I've shot a million times. How viable is it going to be to hack this guy while people are shooting at me? Alright, turns out not to be a major problem, actually. They just kind of stopped and politely waited for me to finish. Those drones are IMC scouts. Enemy right, reinforcements will be on their way. We must complete the neural link immediately. Please install the final battery. Power at full capacity. That is a big gun. Pilot, that gun is like we bigger must than I. Establish a neural link in order to proceed. Please embark when ready. Okay, I have been ready the entire time we've been playing. Let's do this. 
Would you just get in there? What? Uh, you know what? That's fair. I can see why you might be a little bit nervous given the situation. Protocol one, link to Violet, establishing neural link. Okay. Well, neural at least there weren't any physical cables that had to Rifle be plugged in. Jack we? Cooper, you are now confirmed as acting pilot of BT seven two seven four. Protocol two, uphold the mission. Our orders are to resume Special Operation 217. Rendezvous with Major Anderson of the SRX. Uh-oh. I'm detecting incoming enemy forces. <laughs> yeah, me too. Protect the pilot. Reinitializing critical systems. Well, I guess third priority is still pretty good. Vortex shield online. Uh, we should do the stuff. Vortex shield catches incoming rounds and Ooh. missiles. Release the button to launch any captured objects back at the enemy. Wow. That's pretty cool. Like a Jedi back. Alright, I think I can sort of get the idea. It has a uh, little bit of a charge up on it. Yeah, we have that big gun. Can we not use that big gun? This shoulder mounted rocket pod will lock onto multiple enemy targets. The longer you hold down the button, the more locks you will achieve. Okay, it's like playing res. Easy. That is really cool. Neural link complete. Primary weapon control and motion link reestablished. Okay, there we go. Enemy Titan oh. detected. <laughs> you will have to Those a little awkwardly. Safety. Get ready. Great. Just gotta kill a few bad guys. A positive Easy. attitude can only improve our situation. Oh, Jesus! Like, actually directly on top of me. Did I? Okay, that, that was not supposed to happen. I was supposed to have had a uh, an idea that where that thing was coming down so I could avoid it, I guess. Enemy Titanfall detected. We will have to fight our way to safety. Get ready. I'm gonna have my positive attitude over here. Great. Just gotta kill a few bad guys. A positive attitude can only improve our situation. Okay, so I, I should be watching from above. It doesn't look like we do get a ground indication. It was just dumb bad luck that I managed to stand exactly there. Trying to catch his missiles. Got him. Oh god. Enemy down. Well done, Okay. Our combat effectiveness rating has increased. That wasn't too bad. Pilot, I detect more IMC salvage teams on the way. Our only chance of survival is to uphold our mission of rendezvousing with Major Anderson. Until then, you and I... I just sort of picked own. a direction and started Marking sprinting. I don't know where I'm going. The other way. The other way is where I'm going. Quickly. Fair enough. And I slide in the top. Oh, never mind. I guess we'll find out later. Titan BT7274 says I'm his acting pilot. Whether I'm, whether I'm ready or not, I have to make this work, or I'm dead. My only chance of survival is to uphold Lastimos' original mission. That means rendezvousing with his commanding officer, Major Anderson of the Militia's Special Recon Squadron. Another 60 clicks to go. I don't actually know how far a click is, but that seems bad. That seems like a bad distance. Pilot, the IMC will continue to search for us. Our only chance of survival is to rendezvous with Major Anderson, 60 clicks from our current location. We will have to improvise and adapt if we wish to survive. This is Wolfpack okay. 32. We're taking heavy casualties down here. Any military forces, please assist. We've suffered heavy losses. Yeah, it sounds like I probably should get in there. Uh, okay, good guy, good guy, uh, Titan, bad guy, Titan. How do we punch the robot? Oh. Okay, so they also have the, the cool shield thing. I'm having a hard time climbing up here to finish this guy off. Sure, press G for electric smoke. I did, I did that. I'm assuming that 
impairs their ability to lock onto me or something? Be careful, pilot. Is that his battery? We take it. Oh, I'm good. To organic life. Oh. All right. Well, I'm never getting out of the robot, so shouldn't be a problem. Do I have the ability to melee while I'm in this thing? Yes. And it's awesome. Well, that shield thing is better if you actually redirect their projectiles into them. Alright, so I seem to be pretty resilient. We have a shield bar and a, and a health bar, and I haven't taken any actual health damage yet, despite being terrible at the game. And these are just, this feels unfair. These are just like dudes on foot. Oh, except for him. He's a real guy. And yes, that was me already forgetting. First one. That was me already forgetting which button the thing is. Oh, jeez. Oh, that first core really. Why don't we do this all the time? Holy crap. It's a little hard to see what's going on some of the time. So it seems like the punch maybe doesn't do actual damage. Right, so I'm taking... Warning. Yep. Warning. Right, so the batteries give us a little bit of health back and maybe refill the shield immediately. It might just be that the shield refilled there because I... Uh, oh, my reactor. Oh, dear. Okay, that's fine. I can get one of those. Oh, I can't can't fit in there. <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to slide. It turns out you can't slide in a Titan. Good to know. See, I tried to vortex shield by pressing uh, mouse two there, and it did not work because that's not how the game works. That's not how the controls are. So I will say I was just like taking a ton of damage from every side there. It's probably what's happening is I'm getting too aggressive and not making sure to clear out the little guys. And they do have a lot of explosives. The first core is, like, pretty alright, man. Okay. So it turns out, like, there are rocket launchers, and the rocket launchers do actually do damage to Titans. So I gotta be a little bit more cautious. to get uh, Vortex shielded. A little bit more cautious. That was a big mistake. Don't tell me how to electric smoke. These guys are not leading their target. Although sometimes I just walk directly into the missiles. Boy, I sure hope that was a bad guy. <laughs> that all glowing on the ground over there. Pilot, hmm. this Titan weapon is an advanced design. May give us an advantage. Advanced partial lock-on with semi-auto explosive rounds. Okay, but it's going to change all of our they abilities. Give us Interesting. I think somebody's in love. A human's concept of love requires admiration, attraction, devotion, and respect. Conclusion. I am 50% in love. Pilot, with the Yeah, I get that. I've been 50% in love before. Target them with tracking rockets. This will be useful in direct combat. I can see how that might be the case. Jesus. That feels like it might have been overkill. Oh, reloading. Okay, so this is what, yeah, this is what those guys were doing, putting up the little wall. Alright, 
so not actually very accurate. These things wander quite a bit, and it's not a problem against Titans. Ow. Okay, well, we might die. That's possible. Excessive damage. Warning. Warning. Shoot. I was trying to see if we could just punch through the wall with damage. Big control interface. Okay, the good news is that their cover is largely ineffective against me. The bad news is everything else about this. Oh, I'm gonna have to get out. The, the robot cannot jump, it can only charge forward. Fair enough. Did that guy just say I have visual on the suspect? Surprise! That's just fun every single time you do it. That's PT. I saw movement out of the corner of my eye. Ooh, a fire star. Oh, I didn't hit with any of those bullets. Okay, so it's like a it's like a thermite shuriken. That's pretty cool. Except that I don't have a way to stop it once it's burning, so I probably should stop throwing them directly in front of myself. Oh, yeah, I guess I can see why that might be. Let's, uh, put on... No? No putting on a hazmat suit? Fine. We don't intend to be here long. These guys are not very sneaky. Ow. I didn't throw that anywhere near him. And BT's down there covering me. What a hero. Surprise! Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's switch guns because our current gun is getting a little low on ammo. The alternator is a twin barrel SMG. You might ask, what is even the purpose of the second barrel if it's just going to shoot the same place the first barrel shoots? And that question is the reason that I have resisted picking one up until now. Yeah, it really does seem like it's just about as effective as a single barrel gun, except that it uses twice as much ammo. Here we go. This is how we want to be doing. Uh, just looking around for collectibles. I, we definitely have not been doing a good job on that. We certainly missed one helmet already at the very Pilot, least. Our path through this facility is blocked by a flow regulation gate. There should be a so I hear. Nearby. I'll be down there. Hmm. Any sneaky, well-hidden, cool stuff? No. Well, okay then. Maintenance override engaged. Opening flow regulation. That was easy. There should be some security on this or something. Warning: toxic fumes dispersing in main chamber. Oh. Uh. Okay. Control room safety airlock procedures. Can't leave the control room. Pilot, the safety airlock has sealed you in the control room. You must find another way out. We have no choice but to split up. Split up. Sounds risky. Given our dire circumstances, this is a risk worth taking. Pilot, I am tracking your location. Recommend you seek an exit. It really seems like it would be a good idea to put on the hazmat suit, don't you think? You got it, BT. You do the same. Copy that, Pilot. I don't want to joke around with him yet. I don't feel like we've established enough of a rapport. I, uh, I didn't hold Q there. Okay, so don't throw the grenade directly behind your enemies and backlight them, because that makes it hard to know. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's try this. So this is a big gun. This 
This may be too much gun for the Listen circumstance. Up. This is Kane. Who? What we have here, my INC and militia friends, is a failure Ow. to communicate. Oh god. And that's okay. That's okay. Oh. That's all you? good. You're not hostile. Oh, it's a uh it's a uh Pathfinder. It's whatever kind of robot Pathfinder is. Who was that? Accessing files. Kane. A mercenary commonly affiliated with the Apex Predators. There's no a way I'm making it over there, right? User and supplier. Well, actually... Actually, I have to. Yeah, you know what? I think we can do that. I sure hope we can do that. That guy's a well-known narcotics user. You know how BT feels about that. I probably don't need to be scoped in for using this at this range. No. Bad. Yeah, this gun's pretty okay, I guess. So it seems like it just kills him wherever I hit him with it, because that was definitely a leg shot. You're welcome to stay as long as it takes to kill you. Which, by the way, not okay, so these guys have them too. I really need to be cautious not to get shot. I think I just killed that one guy through that other guy. Hold on, let's see if that's... Yep. This is Raccoon 3, 9th Militia Fleet. We're held up in the reclamation facility. The INCF's new mechanized infantry. We're trapped. Alright, there's a really significant refire delay. Okay, well, I mean, let's make sure we're looking around here. I guess the levels so far have been very linear. At some point, we're going to want to switch off of the sniper rifle. But I guess I'll hold on to it for now. We'll keep using it until we know we're supposed to switch. Because if things get weird, we can always just switch to the pistol or punch people a lot. Oh, uh, how do I not shoot the... Okay, I'll just throw it over there. Ah, uh, okay. Howdy. Yeah, I could just stick to walls. No big deal. Nobody act impressed or anything. Well, it seems like they're doing all right down here. Good to see a friendly pilot, sir. Our squad is taking a beating. They can use some help up ahead. Seems like we might be getting into a shorter range area. Uh, but I'm going to be stubborn and keep the big rifle because it's very cool. Yeah, see? What is that? An L-Star? Okay, I'll, I'll take a new gun. Rapid Fire Enemy LMG. Energy LMG. It is also an enemy LMG. Can I rewire you? No? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, hey, how you doing? Not super observant, are they? Howdy. Here and I'm helping. Okay, this gun's pretty cool. I can get used to this. Oh no, it's me. I'm the dumb guy in the video game who hides behind the explosive barrels. I wonder if we could uh, if we could hack one that was actually functional. If I can get closer. Oh, there's that one who came down here. Uh, I'm not going to get myself killed trying to get a hack. We'll just uh, keep an eye out for one making himself available. Uh, I'm going to need some more ammo here. But I shouldn't step in the sludge. We could just go over there. I'm just going to go over there. Use my superior pilot abilities. Okay, cleared out all these dudes. Wow, that... This gun is maybe a little cruel. 
Are we cool? We do it? I'm shooting at something. It seems like it's really easy to break their legs off and then just have them crawling around on the ground. Uh, and I feel super bad for them. I guess I could probably avoid this by just not shooting them in the legs at all times. I'm hoping that they will, uh, our friendlies here will survive to tell the story of the brave pilot who killed only with his bare hands. And our myth can grow to sort of like a Brock Samson type proportion. Well, it's super gross here. I sure wish that I had, uh... Oh, what is that? I wish I'd taken one of those hazmat suits. How would we get over there, you reckon? I could maybe... I, doesn't that look like a thing we're supposed to get? Okay, if we start here... I could, like... Nope. Ow, 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 ow. Heavy corrosive damage. Okay. Turns out, uh, that wall... Is not super easy to stick to. So we do it here. Catch on, catch on. Yeah. Okay. So the helmets, uh, there's definitely, we've definitely missed some already if there's six of them in this level. The helmets are very glowy and extremely di uh, visible at a distance. That is good to know. Okay, I guess there's nowhere to go but back over the way we came. I'm coming, I'm coming. Where am I going, BT? We must proceed through this facility and continue to the rendezvous Ooh. point with Major Anderson. It is our okay, only can you be a little more survival. specific? Uh, we can try to climb up there, I guess? How would I do that? We want to, like... There we go. This gun is very good. Also, apparently it uh, overheats easily. I guess that makes sense. Look up. I saw that. I saw that guy. It doesn't overheat. My fists. It's, I will say, as much fun as I have with the punching, uh, it's hard not to use this weapon. It's just very cool. Ow, okay. Maybe we just need to take a moment here. Alright. Oh, hey, we actually destroyed that. Can I squeeze in through here at all? No. Oh, I'm almost out of ammo. I guess we should switch weapons. I'm enjoying the real, like, running gun style here, though. Vanguard class Titan and an SRS pilot taken out by IMC support. Whoever you are. Not bad. Not bad at all, right? I just hope you're better than the last one I killed. Okay, nope. Definitely not hackable. I decided to go for it there. Not, uh, not super effective. So, so hopefully we'll be given a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more clear of an indication which robotic enemies are hackable and which ones aren't. I don't really have the ability to tell, like, what is a Reaper and what is other kinds of robots at this point. Oh, that's a grenade. Maybe if I staggered them first. Do appreciate when they bring me one of these L-Stars, though. Where was that guy? Wow, I didn't manage to not hit him at all. You know, it takes a special kind of skill. Take that, guys who are standing real close to that. I should probably switch back to an explosive type of grenade. You really got to get pretty close on with the uh, 
with the thermites. Alright, who's got a different grenade for me? That's These guys are all carrying fire stars. Well, they're plentiful at least. Kane, come in. There's a Vanguard class Titan in the facility. I think it's SRS. You think it's SRS? All Vanguards are SRS, you idiot. There we go. Hmm. I'm gonna stick with this. Yeah, it seems like it might have been a good choice. This gun is definitely way too powerful. Now filtering automated testing facility, Dome 3. I wonder... Aha! That's what I was about to say. With all this stuff in here, I wonder if there's anything to climb up to. Okay, how are we gonna... Wanna do a wall run off of this? Really easy to accidentally get into a wall run on a surface that you meant to just land in front of. Oh, how are we going to do the last part of this? Can I wall run, like, up this? Yep, close enough. And then I'm going to assume that I can't actually... Yeah. What else is up here? An EPG. Single fire direct energy propelled launcher. Alright, is there fall damage? Now I've lost track of which uh, which direction we did we come in through. Whatever, we'll go this way. Pilot, exercise caution. We can say that again. Let's see Pilot, if he dies. Exercise caution. All right. <laughs> Good robot jokes. You know, I don't think that the uh, the reading the actor gave there really came across as an ugh. <laughs> okay. I can get behind that. That's not quite gonna work. It has a tiny lip on it. Oh, that is a... That's, oh no, that's just one of the facility robots. I almost blew that poor guy up. You really have a lot of mobility. Pilot, our paths will intersect just up ahead. Missing me already? I was not sure. Now we've established the report. That would be in violation of Protocol 3. <sighs> Never mind. See, we get we have we have a fun, jokey relationship now. And it's totally earned. Ooh, that's an L Star? That? No, that's an EPG. Okay, apparently they're just hidden all over the place. I will probably learn the shape of them eventually. My understanding is that this is not a terribly long game, so probably. I'll figure out what every weapon is by sight just about the time that we finish the campaign. Oh, hey. Long time no see, BT. On the contrary, your helmet provided me with a live feed of your actions. You fought well out there, pilot. The controls to deactivate the sludge flow are in the next chamber, marking your HUD. Once again, almost blew up an innocent robot. Okay, how am I supposed to get all the way over there? Uh, keep working through the back here. Am I allowed to just go into that room? Is that not one of the rooms that's filled with toxic garbage? I guess we can just work around it. This again feels like an area where a collectible could be hidden. Forces. There's definitely dudes over there. I guess that's why they pay me the big bucks. You want something done right? You do it yourself. Oh Jesus! All right, scrubs, enough's enough. I'm coming down. I like the force of it. Actually, staggers other guys nearby. That's really something. Oh. Where'd that guy go? I was trying to flank him, and he was trying to flank me. Above. Not shoot close enough to get. Ooh, right. Don't fire the explosive weapon directly at your own foot. And hey, that was pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna explore a little bit here before we go hitting the switch. Just seems like there's an awful lot of space around here for something to hide. Okay, 
not actually interactable. These, all these like uh, ledges with doors on them, might just be places for enemies to spawn. Yeah, I don't see anything. There's certainly no giant glowing helmets. Alright, I guess let's just get on with it then. Listen, the slide doesn't feel as fast in this game as it does in Apex. Okay. Wow. Even if I had managed to hit that first shot, again, probably shouldn't fire the explosive weapon directly at the ground in front of me. Alright, as cool as this gun is, maybe I ought to have an automatic just to, you know, help with my uh, incompetence issues. I guess that's why they pay me the big bucks. You want something done right? You do it yourself. Alright, scrubs, enough's enough. I'm coming down. I like the way they take cover and stuff. You try to dive away from the grenades. Okay, so the area of explosion on these is not super huge. Can't use them like a TF2 rocket launcher. Guy is a little slick. Let's uh, maybe switch it up to a weapon that's a little bit better for fighting multiple guys up close. Although none of the guns are going to do very well for me if I can't actually hit the enemy with them. Okay. You know what? This might be a good one. This is an SMG, right? Yeah. We will need okay. to deactivate the sludge flows in order to regroup. I have marked the controls on your HUD. Overriding pump filter system. Emergency shutdown. The good thing everything in here is just like slap your palm on it to deactivate. Hicks. Pump shutdown sequence at twenty percent. Oh. Sludge falls okay. contain a high concentration of heavy metals. They are interfering with my targeting systems. Ooh. Things have a pretty large uh, radius. How hard could it be? Just shoot! Blood I'm gonna stay behind cover. Combat zone would be a violation of yeah, it does theory. seem unsafe. And more? Alright, so I can't kill them until they sprout. Stop reloading. Pump shutdown sequence at forty percent. I will just keep throwing explosives out there and making it very difficult for the explosive enemies to get past them. Oh, jeez. Oh, they're kind of coming from all over the place. We're just gonna uh, maybe make use of some of this advanced mobility. Come on, where's a gun? I know there are more guns around here. Yeah, that'll do. You know, I feel like the robot could just, he could just aim low and fire. That would probably work. There they are. Oh, that tick didn't actually uh, make it up here. I have a really bad habit uh, of just like immediately reloading the moment I stop firing. Sometimes it's pretty helpful, but in a lot of other situations it gets me killed and I have never managed to shake it. Oh dear. Yeah, see like that. Sometimes there are situations where you really wish there were still bullets in the gun. Oh jeez, they can fly. 
Okay, well. That's probably dealt with most of them then. This might be easier if I got up higher. Yeah, fewer angles for ticks to approach from. Although I guess I'm like, really out in the open here, huh? Oh dear. I managed to miss an entire wall there somehow. All I was really trying to do was jump at the wall. You know what, actually... Maybe I should have picked up that shotgun. BT, for real, man, just... Feel free to just blind fire. Visual contact reestablished with pilot. Commencing supporting fire. Danger close. The moment I pick up the shotgun, all of a sudden all the enemies are running away from me. Ooh, that's handy. You know what? It seems like he has it under control. Identified an exit on this side. This way. Alright, hold on. There might be stuff down here, right? I mean, this is possibly just gonna get me killed. Maybe I shouldn't bother. I'm kinda thinking about jumping into that tunnel. And we can see that there's stairs over there. Let me really quickly here. Just run around this side. There's another big room, and every time we're getting in a big room, I'm going to be paranoid that I'm missing helmets, and probably not often enough, right? Wow, there's actually a lot of stuff down here. I didn't explore this very well while we were fighting, but coming down onto some of these platforms might have been really helpful, especially if we could have um, baited some of the ticks down there and then just run around corners instead of having to actually get distance from them. I was gonna make it over there. Okay. Back in the robot, where I feel safe. Alright, you know what? Actually, hold on. Is that? No, that is not an enemy. Actually, this, as we've just hit a checkpoint, might be a good place for us to stop for the day. So, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, the plan is to have an, another episode of the series every weekday. Like I said, I've heard that this campaign is not super long, so. Probably going to be a pretty short series, but I'm having a good time so far, and I hope you are too. Uh, come back next time for more, and we'll see you then.